yes, yeah, SpongeBob is is SpongeBob is the part of everybody that's guileless and wants to put their best foot forward and believe that nobody has any ulterior motives and and everybody is nice and you know if you approach the world with energy and vigor and enthusiasm every day will be the best day ever there's a there's a comfort factor to these characters the same way i guess in live action there's a comfort factor to our Typal comedians, you know, Charlie Chaplin and uh, the Little Tramp and uh, Laurel and Hardy and the Three Stooges. You know, you don't want Curly to suddenly be, you know, a different guy. You know, wait, this is different. And uh, so the 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 elements that are the same with with Bikini Bottom and SpongeBob's world are there. And then technologically, there's just there's just a whole lot more uh, 3D CGI. And I think the the element where SpongeBob and his friends come up into our world is much more of a big deal in this movie than it was in the in the last one. You know, without giving too much away, the uh, Krabby Patty formula disappears, and uh, Plankton, who needs to clear his name, and SpongeBob, who's the only one who believes Plankton is innocent, have to go in search of the real culprit. And who is the real culprit? Well, the search for that nefarious person, takes uh, our guys to a lot of places and a lot of weird, uh, banal and cosmic stuff that that uh, you know is is a lot of a lot of fodder for stupid jokes and and fun nonsense. You realize that the Krabby Patty is the that's the grease that keeps the whole machine of bikini bottom running literally uh it's the it it's it keeps the trains running on time it keeps the workers happy it's it's that that first cup of joe and bagel in the morning that uh that puts everybody on the on the right track to be uh productive uh happy citizens and once uh the burgers off the table uh it impacts the future in a in an egregious way Bikini Bottom is kind of its own planet with its own rules and its own stuff and its own pop culture. There's never anything topical on SpongeBob. You know, there's never an Oprah reference or, uh, 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 you know, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire reference or Dancing with the Stars reference. Like, a lot of these CGI features are, are just full of that stuff. And SpongeBob doesn't really traffic in that at all. It's Bikini Bottom and SpongeBob and his friends are kind of their own thing, their own self-contained thing in their own self-contained world. They're, they're, they, they really do live in a bubble. And, and I think that helps keep it timeless. Antonio Banderas is a very worthy new inductee into the SpongeBob club. He's in. He's in. We were so thrilled to get him. And, you know, he's really got like old movie star charisma he's got he's got you know like like the old guys did like like in the old days Cary Grant you know those kind of cats you know and, and he, he just owns the screen when he's on and he's fun Spongebob Squarepants Sponge Out of Water is worth the wait I think it'll give Spongebob fans exactly what they want and it's a great jumping on place for uh, people that are new to Spongebob because you know there really are people that are you know, like little kids and stuff that this movie will be their first exposure to SpongeBob. New people are are jumping on board all the time, and especially as SpongeBob gets more global and gets into countries where he's this fresh new thing that they are just experiencing for the first time. You know this this will this will be the entry into. SpongeBob world for these people, and it's uh, it's really great. We're really proud of it. Kids always want to learn how to do the SpongeBob laugh, and I always tell them it is a three-step easy process. Step one, make a noise like a smoke detector low on batteries. And while you're doing that, you just move your hand up and down on your neck and rattle it around, you know? They love it. 